Good morning, oil traders. Happy News Day. It is Wednesday, October 4th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We're half an hour away from markets open here on the East Coast. And as you can see, we've climbed back up from the lows that, contrary to what you would believe, we um, hit on bullish positive news. The API report actually came out saying that we were going to get a draw um, and a much larger draw than EIA is anticipating um, to be announced later today um, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, I think it's like four or five times larger draw. So that'd be significant and it'd be significantly bullish. Uh, and uh, contrary to what you would expect to have happen on such news, um, we went down instead of up on the price of crude. We actually made it below $50, which is quite bearish. Um, I mean, that, just to actually crack through that level. We didn't stay there, of course, and we climbed right back up. And as of right now, we're basically trying to go green on the day um, and back pretty much to where we closed yesterday. Um, so with this bullishness heading into the open here on the East Coast, I'm going to be basically looking to exit my long position um, at the exact same price that I was looking to get yesterday um, at about 5075. Um, basically if we hit yesterday's highs again, um, I'm going to sell my long. Um, that's if we get there before news. If we get there after news, um, I think I might hold out for some settling point uh, but it sort of depends on how I see the action develop um, but my 5075 target price um, still makes sense to me so I'm just gonna stick with it for the most part of course if we head back down um, I'm gonna be looking to exit um, one or more shorts depending on how far we go um, below $50 as well as begin buying um, more longs to add to my one long position as of right now um, which you, you can learn more about on my tradingjournal.ca account where you can check out my portfolio there um, yeah so that's kind of my game plan it's uh, news day so uh, I wanted to say that we should see quite a bit of volatility and we probably will see quite a bit of volatility in the first half hour to an hour um, in between news at 10.30 and European close at 11.30. Um, after then, it could be whatever. Um, basically, in the past couple of weeks, it's sort of settled after European close and we haven't had much movement um, thereafter. So if we're going to see that again this week or if it's going to just continue being craziness, um, I guess we're going to find out. What do you guys think? Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc. Et uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards the close of trading here on the East Coast at about 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.